Now, we have talked about the terms stress and strain. Let's try to get a better understanding of these two terms. Stress is a force that results in deforming a body divided by the area over which that force is applied. So it is force divided by area. And as you know, force divided by area, the unit for it is Pascal. Now we can apply force in various ways to a body. And if you consider a solid, we can either compress it or we can put it under tension or we can fix one side of it and we can apply force on the other side to create shear. In case of fluids, mostly we use shear force. Strain is a measure of how much a body deforms relative to its original dimensions. So let's look at a solid object and let's say that it has a thickness L and let's assume that the bottom surface of this solid is attached uh, to the base and we apply shear force on the top surface. So by applying shear force we will bend the top surface as shown here. So how much bending is occurring can be identified by looking at the distance delta L on the top and the angle gamma and L is the total thickness. So the shear strain is the angle that is formed due to bending and we call that shear strain tangent gamma because tangent gamma is delta L over L. So for small deformations we can say that tangent gamma equals gamma or gamma is equal to delta L over L. So that is the measure of a strain in case of a solid body. In case of fluids we use gamma dot. We put a dot on the top of gamma and we call that strain rate. This is commonly called shear rate. So gamma dot is d gamma over d, dt and the units are 1 over second or hertz. Note that in case of fluids we are interested in the rate at which strain is produced when shear stress is applied. So the difference between solids and fluids is that in case of fluids we are going to use strain rate because the stress is applied over a period of time as the fluid deforms and we work with the rate term rather than the strain itself as we saw in case of a solid body.